Hey guys, this is Mitch with Fine Point CGI, and today we're going to talk about the different languages that are available to you in Godot. So, with my time in Godot, I've messed around with both C Sharp and uh, GD Script, and a little bit with the C++ end, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a conversation about what the pros and cons of each language is, and which one you should pick. Which, spoiler alert, it's literally just whatever you guys want to pick, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter. Um, but some of them have some great advantages, and some of them have some great disadvantages that, you know, might be helpful to learn about. So that's what I have in store for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is GD Script. So what is GD Script and why is it useful? Well, GD Script is the Godot scripting language. So it's the actual scripting language that is supported by the Godot team. Um, it's best benefit is that it is super simple to learn i mean my nephew who's seven picked it up and understands gd script so it's a really simple language you know you have really fast development time because you don't have to compile your code you don't have to wait for anything you don't have to do anything you just write your script you hit play and you run through it you know it's super easy to read you look at the code and you're like oh i get what this does right it's really supported by the community so most of your tutorials that you're going to see are going to be through gd script including a lot of my tutorials right but what are some of the cons here well some of the cons is that it's not type safe now there are ways to make it type safe i'm not saying that you can't but it's not designed from the ground up to be type safe it's very slow compared to a lot of other languages, even Python, who is a type, who is not a type safe language, right? That is not compiled. It's actually slower than Python. And finally, memory consumption is a lot higher with GD script. So that's just something to keep in mind. The next major language is C sharp. What is C sharp? C sharp is the language that is designed and built by Microsoft. It is a standard in game design. Most game engines use C Sharp. As a matter of fact, Unity and um, CryEngine both use C Sharp as one of their programming languages. So it's a super common language that a lot of people know. It's faster, it is type safe, and it has thousands of libraries that other developers have built for C Sharp that can be integrated into Godot. You don't need to wait for somebody like me to create a plugin to do the thing that you want to do. If you want to interface with like SQLite, right? You don't need to download a plugin that some guy created. Microsoft has a built in plugin for this. So you do get that backing, if that makes sense. But you do have to deal with a lot more complexity right you need to make sure that you design your code in a very streamlined manner right you can't just start coding without some kind of plan or else you'll have a huge untainable mess on your hands and um, another big disadvantage is there's very little support uh, by the community we don't really there's not a lot of tutorials out there for C sharp that is changing as time goes on but it's not as supported you know that's one of the reasons why i started the c-sharp series that i have ongoing right now is because nobody supports it so it's um something to keep in mind you're going to do a lot of digging on your own to try to figure out how things work and finally the godot dev team doesn't support it as much as they support gd script they do support it they do give official builds but it's not um treated the same as gd script gd script gets a lot of updates and a lot of features and things like that as a matter of fact like godot 4 currently mono develop doesn't work with it it just completely craps out on you and that's just something to keep in mind that it's a little more complicated to get it to work than gd script it is gd script just works where c sharp takes a little bit of work to get it to work Finally, the last major language that you can use is C++, and it is the fastest out of all the languages, period. It's the fastest. 
It integrates directly into the game engine so you can access lower level code and literally just do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to go in and change how the Vulkan server renders your scene, you can. It allows you to do that. And you get the ability to use any C++ library that exists out there. You, you want to do some kind of algorithm, you can just download that algorithm and use it. And it'll just take it. It doesn't care. But what are some cons for C++? Well, it's extremely slow development. And it's really easy to get coded into a corner. So uh, it's slow development because you have to compile your plugin. Every time you make a change, you got to compile a plugin and then run it in Godot. And half the time, you can't even get the debugger to work properly. You have to do a bunch of print statements and look at the Godot console to determine what it's doing. And it becomes kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. I took me like two or three hours just to get everything settled and set up correctly because I don't know how it worked fully. And it took me, you know, two or three hours to get set up and ready to go. And one of the biggest cons is that you get a boatload of freedom. And I know that that seems like, why would that be a con? But being outside of your little box, right? That little container that everybody puts you in allows you to do things like switching memory addresses. And that can cause a lot of problems. You can go ahead and just crash your computer or crash your game for literally nothing. And that's just something that you got to keep in mind that um, with a lot of freedom comes a lot of responsibility and you need to make sure that you pay really close attention to what you're doing. So what do they look like and what's the differences? Well, if you look at these three different languages, they're very similar in design, but there's also a lot of differences here. So you'll see on the left most one, we have GD script and you can see that it's very much large amounts of white space and large amounts of indentation to determine what goes with who. And you'll see that the code is very clean. And you look at C sharp and C sharp has the little curly braces and it um, denotes based off of curly braces on who goes with what. And you'll notice that like up here, we have all these extra words up here, like public static void, right? To say, hey, this is public, this is global, and this it doesn't return anything. But it also takes in an input here. You can see this one also takes in an input, but it doesn't have a typecast. See? But you can typecast this if you want to. You could just put a colon and then the type, right? If you wanted to. And then finally, C++, you have the class name, and then you have the function name, the two inputs into this class and then you have your actual stuff so they're all very similar and they're all very usable as a programming language now something i'm not showing you as c plus plus is that there is a header file that goes with this but i don't really want to go into that too much but you can see that there is a major difference in how they are designed but they are also very much readable and very usable. Now, to determine kind of the differences here, we can take a look at our benchmark results. So what I did was I ran a 10,000 cycle bubble sort. So it's a 10,000 object bubble sort. And I did uh, three tests and I have my results right here. And you can see the difference in performance here. So on average, GD script is 10 times slower than C sharp. And on average, C sharp is 10 times slower than C++, which means C the difference between GD script and C++ in speed is almost a hundred times difference. That's a massive difference in performance. But the question is, does it matter? If you are just creating a basic game or even a, an advanced game that requires you to do like a little character controller that's running around and jumping and shooting and blowing things up, 
I mean, GD script is going to be fine, right? The performance gains that you get from it, from moving to a different language, isn't going to make that big of a difference. But where the performance gain matters is if you were doing like procedural generation or if you were doing something where you needed a boatload of processing power. So for instance, if I was going to create like a bubble sort like I did here, you know, if I was sorting objects in a inventory and I had a hundred thousand objects to sort i would want to sort it in c plus plus or c sharp over top of doing it in gd script it's just faster but i think for the majority of coding c sharp and gd script does what we need it to do so in conclusion all languages are good they just have different use cases c plus plus is best for speed but it's bad for usability GD script is great for usability, but bad for speed. C Sharp tries to strike a balance between the two, and I think it does a pretty good job, but that doesn't mean that you have to pick it as your main language. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. So hey, you know, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hey, if you dislike this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button because I'm here to make content for you guys. Now, this video was a viewer suggestion, so I do take your suggestions very seriously, and I try to get to all of them. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and throw them in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to take a look at them. And hey, you know, if you have any questions or you want to yell at me about the results in these benchmarks, hey, Mitch, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about, uh, go ahead and join my Discord. I have a link in the description below, and you're more than welcome to yell at me as much as you'd like. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much again for watching. And I will see you all next time. Thanks. <laughs>